Hello, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emily Freibler. So today's video, we are testing out the new Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy Foundation. So this is a spin on their original Photo Focus Foundation, which is a lot more matte. And I'm very excited to try this formula right now. My skin has been a little bit dry lately since I've been trying out some new skincare to help with this acne. We are going to get a very good idea of the coverage of this foundation since I do have some acne scarring um, right now. So I'm very excited and let's get started with this video. If you haven't already, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. I upload new videos every single week on beauty, lifestyle, and fashion. If you want me to review another product, please leave a comment down below and let me know what it is because I would love to know what you guys want to see. Okay, so I got this foundation at Walgreens and I paid $6.29 for it. It is currently $6.49 on the Wet n Wild website. So anywhere around like $6.50 um, is a good price, I would say, for this foundation. Um, I did get the shade uh, Buff Bisque and this is going to be a light, medium, neutral undertone shade. So this is what it looks like in the bottle and I'll obviously show it to you on my face. I'm a little worried it's gonna be too pink on me um, because I do have self tanner on right now, as you can tell, I haven't put it on my face lately because like I said, I've been breaking out um, and I have found a new skincare routine that I think is working a lot. I don't have any active breakouts right now. These are just like all going away and um, healing. So this is scarring and this is supposed to be a medium to full coverage foundation. I'm gonna just read the description right now. It says the newest innovation to the cult favorite photo focus franchise, the Dewey Foundation, a weightless, super nourishing foundation that delivers natural all day wear. Silky and creamy coverage is easily buildable from medium to full and it easily transitions from day to night wear. Ideal for normal to dry skin types. I have combination skin, so we'll see. Um, and then this more moisturizing formula blends seamlessly, blurs imperfections, and helps minimize the appearance of pores for a perfectly smooth, dewy finish. It also is available in 20 shades, and this is cruelty-free, gluten-free, talc-free, and vegan. So that's amazing for, like, I don't know, all those different claims. So let's basically just get started. If you haven't used the other Photo Focus Foundation, like I said, it is a lot more matte. It has the exact same spatula like this. I actually don't have a Photo Focus Foundation on hand. I've used it so much in the past, but honestly, I think I just threw them out because they were expired. Um, so I definitely need to pick that up because I feel like if this is too dewy on me, I could mix it with the Photo Focus matte version, the original version, and it might give a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful finish. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do today is just use the dewy one and we'll see. I'm going to use my tried and true CoverGirl mattifying primer. I use this no matter what foundation I'm using. So it's no different with this. I used to test foundations and just use no primer, but honestly, that's not realistic. Um, so I always say when you're trying out a new foundation, use the same primer that you always have because that's what you're gonna do in real life. And you know, I understand I'm trying to give you the best idea of what the actual finish is of the foundation, but if my T-zone is always oily, that's not really a representation of the foundation, that's a representation of me. I hope that makes sense. But that's what like I kind of think when I go through it in my mind. So I'm gonna take a sponge. This is from Amazon. I will link them with this product as well, though there will be a blog post that I'm going to link in the description box that I will, you know, link everything, kind of write my thoughts, all that kind of stuff on there as well. So this is what the color is looking like. It looks like a pretty decent match, so we shall see. Um, I'm just gonna take some on the sponge and pounce away. So far, so good. The coverage is looking medium. It's covering pretty well. It looks really pretty so far on the skin. It doesn't look heavy at all. It's supposed to be nice and lightweight. And obviously a dewy finish. And it said it's buildable. So we will see how much I can build up with a sponge. I'm gonna do a sponge on this side and then a brush on this side, so. The other foundation, the regular Photo Focus, I could build up really well when I had really bad acne, um, when I had, you know, just always 
cystic acne. I wore that foundation a lot and it looked beautiful. So that's why I was so excited when they came out with the dewy version because I feel like sometimes it's a little bit too flat and matte. Okay, so I would say this is medium coverage. You can still see a lot of this stuff peeking through. You can still see quite a bit of this. Actually, the shade match is pretty dang good. And I would say a medium coverage right now. And we'll see if I can build it up more with a sponge or if I'll need to go in with a brush because usually a flat top um, brush will give more coverage than a sponge will because it won't suck up all that product. But so far it looks beautiful on the skin. It doesn't look like it's just settling. It's sinking in. It just, honestly, it feels really nice on the skin. So I'm liking it a lot so far. I'm gonna take a flat top brush. This is from Sigma. It's their F80 um, Kabuki brush. And you can use whatever foundation brush you prefer. But again, I'm just gonna put some on the back of my hand like so. So I like this spatula. It's just so easy to use and control versus pouring it out on your hand. And I always get too much product that way. Okay, so the coverage immediately right off the bat is way better with a brush, which honestly, usually it is, um, just from my experience. But I'm guessing I will like the finish of a sponge better. Um, just because it kind of like pushes it into the skin and everything. So I'm someone who really likes to use a combination of a brush and a sponge. I will sometimes like if I have, you know, acne like this or whatever, I will go in with a brush first and then I'll go in with a sponge to kind of pounce it into the skin, make sure it's really blended and um, settled in there. And then also just soak up any leftover product. So I just put a little bit more on my brush I'm gonna pounce it a little bit more, a little bit more. Just keep building it until I get the desired coverage. So I would say right off the bat, it's a medium coverage, um, like I said before, but I do think it is highly buildable, which is very good because then you can customize what you want. You could either have medium coverage or you could build it up to, I would say like low full coverage. You're not gonna cover like literally everything, but if you use a little bit of concealer before you put on your foundation, you will be golden and no one will be able to tell you have scarring, hyperpigmentation, whatever your imperfection is, like you can definitely cover it. I feel like so far, you guys, I feel like this is drying down to, it's definitely dewy, but I feel like it's almost drying down to more of a natural finish. I wouldn't say it's like highly, highly dewy. I mean, it is, I guess, in the camera, but I feel like you guys see more shine on screen than I do in person. Um, but I, I think it's beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna take some more on my sponge. Just see if I can build it with a sponge even more right here. I didn't even tell you the time that we started. It is currently 11.10, so I'll probably use that as my marker of when we started. Okay, so I have gone in with a decent amount of foundation, I would say, and honestly, I like to focus it just on my problem areas. The other places, like my nose and stuff, I don't have very much product on my face at all. Um, and it feels really, really good on the skin. So yeah, it's definitely dewy. I said it wasn't really that dewy. It is dewy, for sure. So I'm 100% going to have to set this. I mean, I set all my foundations, but 100% gonna have to set this. So I'm gonna use the e.l.f. 16 Hour Camel Concealer. I love this stuff. I'm just gonna use a tiny bit. I like to highlight the face. I'm just showing you this part because I like to see how different concealers work with different foundations. Sometimes they honestly don't work that well together. So um, it's just kind of nice to see if a foundation works well with the concealer or not or what. So honestly, so far so good. And then for powder, I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild um, Photo Focus Setting Powder. This is the loose version and just a setting brush like this, take a little bit, tap off the excess and just set that area. So this is a definitely an oil absorbing um, powder. So I like to put this mainly in the T-zone, but then I will brush a little bit along the rest of the face since this is a dewy foundation. 
Okay, so you can definitely see some stuff coming through still. If I were to be doing my makeup and not just testing a foundation, I would have probably put concealer down first and then this foundation and then maybe even a setting powder that had a little bit of color just to really get that full coverage. But since this is just a foundation review, I wanna show you guys what it would look like by itself. I would say this is more of a medium coverage foundation. It is buildable, but it's not gonna get you like the ultimate full coverage that some people might be looking for. That's not to say you can't use this foundation to, with other products to get full coverage, but that's what it's looking like right now. I'm gonna finish my makeup and then I'm gonna be checking in throughout the day to show you how it wears, if I get super oily, all that kind of stuff. Okay, so I just got done with the rest of my makeup. I just put on, you know, bronzer, blush, highlight, all that kind of stuff. And then I set my makeup with the Makeup Obsession Fix It Setting Spray. Um, just did multiple sprays of that and that's all I'm gonna be doing. I did try out a new lip today that I'm really excited about. This is the Maybelline Super Stay Ink Crayon in the shade truest your gut so it's a really pretty nude it's definitely a little bit more cool tone mauve um shade and i really like it so far i'm really excited to see how it holds up because i have the liquid lipstick version of this and i really like it although it is decently drying this is like a very creamy crayon look um, or formula and I really like it so far. So we'll see how that holds up throughout the day as well because this is brand new to me as well. So um, yeah, I'll see you guys in a few hours when I kind of just update you. So bye. Hello you guys, I'm here with an update. I'm on my phone camera, so I hope it's okay. I might need to go into better lighting. Obviously I have my blue light glasses, blue light blocking glasses on, so I, um, have glasses marks but let me get into some brighter sunlight so that you guys can see this makeup so far honestly so good I forgot to tell you the time it's like 3 30 I think time is it yes 3 30 and so far so good I'm <laughs> I don't know why I do this like when I'm not prepared need to go in my office. I'm gonna grab my little mirror so I can see my face a little bit better. So far, so good, you guys. Like, I can definitely tell that it is more of a dewy foundation just because of the way the um, stuff looks on, like, my forehead and, like, right here, if you can tell. Um, but it's, so far, it's not separating, and it's been four hours so far, right? 12, 1, 2, 3, yeah four hours. Um, so that's where I filmed my other video, but at the beginning of the video. So every single foundation does this on me. Um, but the fact that I've gone four hours in this foundation and don't have like the super shiny face is great. And this foundation doesn't feel heavy. It feels comfortable in the skin. It's lasting and so far so good. So I'm really, really, really happy with this because usually foundations that are labeled dewy, like by this time I get pretty oily even if I wear a mattifying primer and a mattifying powder. So I'm very excited and I'm liking it. I did eat, so the, um, what is that, Maybelline lipstick? Yeah, that did wear off on me. Um, you can still see like a tiny bit of it, but it's definitely worn off. Um, so it's not like a liquid lipstick where it's going to last all, all day, but I really like the formula and it's not too drying or anything so far. So good for this as well. I'm probably going to reapply this, um, and keep doing some work. All right, you guys, I'm back. It is currently 8.02. So I, let's say 11.30 is when I started wearing the foundation. I started applying it at like 11. Um, and so it's been all day. I have not like pounced my face with anything, blotted, nothing. And so I'm definitely shiny. Um, but I'm not as shiny as I thought I was going to be quite, to be quite honest with you. Like if I were to blot throughout the day, I think this foundation would be totally fine. Um, let me zoom in a little bit. I do have like a dry patch like right here. So 
don't mind that. Um, my chin did wear off a little bit, but I think I was going like this and whatever. And since this isn't, it, it is it more of a dewy foundation, I see that they tend to wear off um, a little bit more than like a matte long wearing foundation. This does last a long time, I feel like. Um, but again, it was only, I only wore it for eight and a half hours. Um, so yeah, I can definitely tell I'm getting shiny. So I kind of like to grab a sponge like this and just kind of blot that you could take a tissue you could take actual oil blotting um papers but like just that is making it look so much better so if i were to do that throughout the day i think this foundation would be oops i think this foundation would be totally good if i were to just blot so since i left it for so long it did start to break up right here but i think that's only because I left the oils on my face for so long. Um, otherwise, I think it will be good. I'm going to still continue to try this, even mixing it with the regular photo focus. Maybe I'll make another video and show you that um, or put it into a vlog or something where I mix this with the regular photo focus foundation to see. But honestly, I really, really like it. And if you're someone who didn't like the original photo focus foundation because it was too drying or too matte for your preferences, if you just like a dewy foundation or if you have normal to dry skin, then definitely check this out. I think it's a great foundation and it's so, so affordable. It's like around six or seven dollars, which you cannot beat. And honestly, there's usually sales and stuff at the drugstore for stuff like this. So I highly recommend it. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. I upload new, new videos every single week on beauty, lifestyle, and fashion. So, all right, I am going to probably take this makeup off and get into super cozy clothes because it's the end of the night for me. So I'll see you guys in the video very, very soon. Bye guys. <laughs>